What's up guys, Michael here, coming to you with another video. In this one I'm gonna be explaining how to remove and reinstall the protective cap on your lens, as well as how to replace the ND filters. So if you've purchased maybe a separate ND filters and you'd like to install them, I was quite frightened to do it for the first time, that's why the video, just to clarify this process. So let's get started. So the first thing that you have to do is to figure out how to remove that cover. Because you will be removing it and putting it back again, it's always good to know how to do it without damaging your lens or the gimbal of your DJI drone. So what you have to bear in mind is that when you look at it, the cap itself has two hooks at the top here, and it also has a latch at the bottom. Removal is very easy, so you have to actually push out. So what I do is I hold my finger here at the top and this part I push outwards, kind of down a little bit, this way. And I kind of gently unlock it. And then I just slide it down and just remove it this way. Now, as you can see, let me just show you here. This cap itself has this kind of a latching system here that goes behind the gimbal. So this is important when installing it back again. And this is probably the, the most kind of tricky part, okay? So what I usually do is I have the drone open, so all the legs are opened. And the reason being is that it's just easier to kind of manipulate it all around and yeah, it's just more comfortable. So what I do first is make sure that my gimbal and the camera is kind of nicely aligned in one place. I grab my cover and what's important is to gently slide it in and I always kind of focus on that latch at the back so it has to slide behind behind the gimbal so you can see now it's now it's latched there let me just take off this part just to show you that latch is at the back let me show you back again so again I straighten it up Whoa. and this is slightly tricky because your gimbal is so gentle it moves around a lot so once you kind of get that camera i just focus on the on that kind of latch at the back so once i slide that in now i kind of align the top kind of hooks and then the bottom i just click that in so again let me just show you how i do it so push it down and putting it back again. It's definitely a, a very gentle process and I would recommend that you do it patiently. Another way to do this is possibly to turn your drone upside down and do it this way. So it may be easier to kind of slide the latch and that's it. So what you have to do is I usually, again, put it upside down. So we have to be very gentle, first of all, as you don't want to damage the gimbal. So I usually grab the camera very gently. Could be at an angle, but you have to also bear in mind that the gimbal cannot twist 360. So it just goes to a certain way. So I'm, I'm just going to keep it as kind of straight as level as possible so what you have to do essentially is kind of squeeze top bottom and slide the whole and the filter to the left kind of this way very gentle and you will hear a gentle click and that's it the and the filter is off you can see that it has those tiny little hooks these legs four legs and when you look at the the shape of the camera it has those legs too. So then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the ND filter back into the case. I'm just gonna take the original glass, so no filter whatsoever. Also bear in mind to keep your filters clean and out of any dust or dirt. 
If you have camera, the chances are you have that nice pump that's used for this cleaning the sensor. So you don't want to use any brushes. So again, it doesn't actually matter how you put the filter. There's no really kind of upside down way or anything like that. So again, what we do when we want to put it back, we just have to kind of have it at a slight angle. So the filter itself slides or the legs slide into those tiny little holes. And we gently, while holding the camera, twist the whole thing back into the place. Again, I'm just grabbing, holding the camera, twisting it, taking it off. And again, aligning those four legs with the holes, making sure that it's nice and tight and just gently sliding it in. There is a tiny little click when you, when you do that. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments how difficult it is for you to replace the filter or maybe put the cap on the protective cap on the gimbal and your camera on your drone. I'm very curious. I don't believe that this is a perfect design. DJI could definitely make something much easier in my opinion, but that's just me. Let me know in the comments how are you finding this process and I will see you in the next one. Cheers!